All right, YouTube, Boy Slim is back with another cigar review. So you know what, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, today we are going to be smoking on the La Roma de Cuba. So shout out to my uh, sister-in-law because uh, she kind of got on me. She was like, bro, what's up with the, uh, what up with the views? How come no Cubans? <laughs> I was like, hey, I'm working on it, sis. So um, right now, this is uh, actually not a Cuban cigar, but the uh, seeds are originally from there. So let me go ahead and give you a little background on it. All right, so this is from Cigar Inspector. This is the uh, 5x54 Robusto. The wrapper is US Connecticut Broadleaf. The filler is Nicaraguan, the binder is Nicaraguan. And the price is about $6. So that's a, a really good price. I like the band on it. It focuses in. Nice little foot wrap going there. I mean, it's all window dressing or eye candy, however you want to say it. But, uh, really packed, not an even roll. Nothing wrong with that though, but um, very hard throughout. Nice double cap, you know what I'm saying? Clean looking scar. So as I always say, it's my favorite part of the day. So let's go ahead and get some cut up. like tobacco and hay on the foot. A little musty. Actually not a little, a lot musty. All right, let me take this foot band off and uh, we'll go ahead and get this lit up. So I'll be right back. Got the foot being off. Medium draw. Kind of tight. And uh, I'm actually not going to give a cold draw because I've learned something from uh, from a Zoom meeting. And uh, I was listening to uh, Rick Rodriguez from CAO. And he said probably the best way to get your cold draw and uh, the smells and everything like that is just to do the foot. He was like, you really shouldn't get much from, you know, from the cap. Who am I to say he's wrong? I mean, he's a damn blender. So. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. I think that's enough damn talking. All right, Jess, I got you a cube in here, so. So shout out to my brother Ant. He's the one that sent me this lighter and I like it because once it gets jet hot, that shit turns red. That's yeah, running out of fuel. I can toast it the hell out of that. Okay, let me see what we're working with. What we're working with, and I'll get back to you. All right, I am back. I got her lit up now, and uh, pretty warm. As you can see that burn line, pretty tight. And uh, my first impressions of it are, uh, actually it's really creamy. Um, light on the pepper. It says it's a medium, uh, medium plus. I don't know right now. I'm not picking up too much hints on the pepper. But I'm definitely picking up a little creaminess, a little nuttiness, and that definitely that hay from uh, from the uh, foot. 
So I'm going to uh, let this warm up a little more. Then I'll get back with you after the first third. So. All right, I am back. And uh, getting into that first third, I would have to say the burn line hasn't been like razor sharp, but it's been pretty good. A little wavy, but no complaints on it. Haven't had to touch it up. The draw has been really good. The smoke output, you know, I don't know if you can see that because I got my fan on since I'm here out here in the lab, but the smoke output has been pretty good. Um, as far as the flavors, pepper is still light, really creamy, and uh, kind of that hay or leather note in there. But um, the pepper is still light, but it's creamy, a little nutty. And uh, honestly, I have to say, this is a good choice by me right now to uh, actually smoke this after having uh, you know dinner with the family. You know what I mean? Get to sit out here and enjoy it. But yeah, so far, no complaints. I mean, um, if you have uh, smoked this cigar before, definitely know let me know your thoughts on it and um, other than that I'm just gonna continue smoking it down watch a little more of the of the Braves game because it seems like right, right now they're beating the hell out of the Mets and that's a that's a bonus <laughs> so uh, I continue to do that smoke this down a little bit more drink all my sweet tea and I'll check back in in with you guys as I get closer to the band or second third Okay, I am back, and uh, my uh, impressions on the second third are that it's gotten a whole lot more creamy. The pepper is starting to pick up just slightly, not uh, so much, so um, I don't really know if it's a medium plus. It's more like a medium right now. It might pick up in that last third. Still overall, getting notes of uh, chocolate. That hay is still there, and it's uh, still creamy. So I'm actually uh, enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? The ash just actually tipped off and that's about 40 minutes in. So as you can see that burn line, it's not, it's still wavy, but I mean, it's not really bothering right now. So I'm not gonna touch it up. I'm just gonna let it go. But overall right now I'm enjoying it. And if the uh, flavor notes continue to be like this, this will be a, a really good cigar. I'm gonna continue smoking it down, get into that last little bit after I take off the bin, and I'll let you know uh, my thoughts on that. All right. All right, I am back, it's getting to that point, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you my update before I close it out. The um, flavor notes I'm getting is uh, the cream has died out a little, pepper is starting to pick up, that hay note isn't really there anymore. Getting a little bit of a faint chocolate sweetness in there, but uh, that's that creaminess that I was talking about pretty much throughout the whole video. And um, it's a, been really uh, exceptional. I mean, the burn has been wavy throughout, but to be honest, I've only had to knock off the ash one time and it's still been burning. So I would think I'm at the hour point right now and I've probably got like, 10, 15 more minutes depending. And I might just go ahead and up this out. I mean, it's been a really good experience with it. But I'm going to uh, get my uh, final thoughts together, look over my notes, and I'll uh, get back to you and let you know honestly what I think about it if you haven't figured it out already. All right. All right, I am back to give you my final thoughts on the La Aurora de Cuba and Robusto. And um, into that first third, it's uh, from the first third to second third to the last, the strength, it continually picked up. And I think I enjoyed that. The pepper wasn't too much. I didn't get like that nicotine rush or anything like that. No buzz actually whatsoever, but I can actually feel it as the uh, cigar was uh, burning through. Um, as, I, as far as the flavor transitions, they were pretty good. A creamy, 
to a little bit nutty, slight chocolate at the end, some of that hay mix in there. Honestly, I didn't retro hell it and I'm not gonna retro hell every cigar, you know, because with my sinuses, I'm yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. Plus, I don't think I need to retro hell every cigar just to get the uh, the actual feeling of it. Every once in a while I will, but that that's just not my thing. Um, burn. The ash was not tight, but it was pretty wavy. Never had to touch it up, and it actually stayed on. Only had to uh, knock it off twice. Uh, and that's actually the first time that I've had to do that with a cigar. That's uh, pretty amazing to me. All right, so the draw, exceptional throughout. Didn't have to worry about anything. Great smoke, smoke output, but really good draw. All right, as far as the time for the price, it was about like an hour, 20 minutes or so for a five to $6 cigar with all those flavor transitions and the draw and the strength. I mean, you can't beat that. I think the only other thing left for me to do is to uh, try out the other ones on this line because I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's a great cigar, but I think it's, a, it's getting there to that point where it could be like a really good cigar. Other than that, I just want to say, hey, I hope you guys subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you haven't noticed, I think this is uh, probably one of the first videos I just didn't bombard you with seeing so, so damn much. You know what I'm saying? I've uh, started to work on this craft because somebody said, if you want to do it, you got to get better at it. And I'm taking their advice to heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm not thin skinned and I can take it. But hey. Other than that, that's all the smoke in the raw aroma of the Cuba.